Hello everyone and welcome back. It's Professor Gray here with you and it's time for our final unit of Listening Lab class, Unit 8. Can you believe it? Page 30. In this unit, we will look at uh, interesting things that happen in the news, strange news stories, maybe some illegal things or really unusual things in the news. They might be hard to believe. Can you believe it? Maybe yes, maybe no. You can do the first part on your own, um, but I want to point out, number one, you thought of someone and they called you is what we say in English, speak of the devil. You know, when you're thinking of someone or talking about them and they show up, oh my gosh, speak of the devil. Or they call you, huh, very shocking. That happens a lot, I think. Number two is what we call a shooting star. A star falling from the sky, we call that a shooting star. Okay, let's move on to part one. Friends are telling unusual stories about people breaking the law. What did each person do? Listen and check what illegal thing did each person do? Go ahead. Number one, pulled out the power cable. She wanted to go home. Hmm, that's kind of a strange thing to do. She was arrested. Arrested by the police. Arrested means uh, stopped. When the police stop you and take you to the police station, that's arrested. You did something illegal. Number two, A, overfed her pet. Over means too much. Fed means feeding, food. She gave the pet too much food. She overfed her pet and she was charged with neglect. Neglect means not taking care of something, like neglecting your homework not doing your homework, or neglecting your friends, not spending time with them. You're neglecting them. Number three is B, the plumber took other people's customers. The plumber is someone who works on, fixes uh, water systems in a building or your house. That's the plumber. The, systems, the system is called the plumbing, the toilet, the showers, the the sinks, everything with water in your house is the plumbing. And the person that fixes it is called the plumber. Number four, C, couldn't drive a stolen car. The getaway car, when you're trying to get away, run away after committing a crime, the, the criminals will jump in a car and try to get away quickly. That's the getaway car. But they couldn't drive it, C, because it was a stick shift. Now, a stick shift is a little less common these days, but you have, to trend, you have to change gears with a stick. One, two, three, four. You push in the clutch and you change the gear. These days, most cars are automatic, but some cars still use a stick shift to change gears. Number five, C, tried to smuggle animals, was caught at customs. Customs, when you enter a country, they check your bags, they check what you have to make sure you don't have anything illegal. If you have something illegal, then you're trying to smuggle it, bring it in illegally. Very bad. Number six B, tried to rob a drugstore. Drugstore, pharmacy, same thing. In English, you'll hear people say pharmacy. You'll hear them say drugstore. It's the same thing like a yakkuk here in Korea. Listen again one more time, check your answers. Part two, newscasters are reporting unusual stories. Which headlines match the stories? Listen and check, go ahead. Number one, penny for your college tuition. Uh, tuition is what you pay for school. When you, for example, here at Hongdae, you pay each semester or each year for your classes, for your lectures. That's called tuition. Tuition is money you pay for school. Penny is one cent, one penny in the US. It's, it's like shipwon in Korea. It's the smallest coin. It's not worth very much. But everybody gave him a penny. So many people sent him a penny that he was able huh, to go to school. Interesting story, very smart student. 
Number two, B, flushers wanted, no experience necessary. Now remember plumbing. Plumbing is the water in a building or a water, in a, big, a water system in a big stadium. Like here, football, soccer, baseball, stadium, big outdoor uh, place for sports. Arena is really more indoors and smaller, basketball arena. Hockey arena, ice arena, maybe gymnastics arena. Indoors and smaller, stadium, outdoors and bigger. A flusher is someone who just flushes the toilet. Sometimes you push to make the water go down. When you finish using the toilet and you want the water to go down and change for fresh water, that's called flushing. So they wanted flushers no experience necessary. Hmm. Number three is B. Colombian soil is a mummy maker. Mummy is mira, right? In ancient Egypt, they used to uh, bury the, the king or the queen, the pharaoh. Pharaoh means king in Egyptian, uh, old Egypt. And the pharaoh they wanted him to live forever. So they, they used uh, chemicals and special process to make a mummy. The mummy sort of kept the body intact. You can see them. If you go to Egypt, you can actually look at mummies. You can see where it was a human being and there's still parts of the body there. Very interesting. They were very, very scientifically advanced. So the soil is the earth, the dirt. And this dirt in uh, this town in Colombia apparently has chemicals that make a mummy. So if you bury a body in the dirt, in the soil, in this town in Colombia, that body will become automatically become a mummy and last forever, last eternity. Eternity means forever. The Egyptians wanted their kings, their pharaohs, to live forever, live for eternity. And number four, A, man sues employer because his job is boring. He ended up, ended up means at the end, when finished, final result was this. Ended up uh, with a job he didn't like. The final result was he had, he had a government job he didn't like, it was too boring. Listen again, check your answers again for part one, skill, uh, task one, and answer task two. Are these statements true or false? Go ahead. Number one, penny for your college tuition. Well, the young man ended up with $28,000. Yes, true. That's almost Sam Chun Manan, or maybe more than Sam Chun Manan. Can you imagine? So many people giving you one penny e. One penny is nothing. But if enough people give it to you, you can make a lot of money and go to college. It's like asking people to give you ship one. One ship one coin. Anybody can give that to you. It's easy. But you have so much. Now you have some chun man on. In ship one coins. Whoa. It would be very heavy and difficult to bring it to the bank. But the bank would take it. They have to take it. It's... Legal money. Number two, a football team wants to hire 200 students. No, false, 250. Number three, San Bernardo is a city in Egypt. No, false, it's in Colombia. Colombia is in South America. Egypt is very far from there. Egypt is in Africa. And number four, a government worker left a high paying business job. Yes, that's true but he ended up being very, very unhappy at that job. Listen again one more time. There's some interesting stories here. Practice your listening, check your answers for task one and task two. Part three, page 32, <clears throat> task one. People are talking about unusual stories in the news. What are the stories about? Listen and number the correct picture. Match the story to the picture. Listen carefully. 
Number one, how far was the... Oh, sorry. Number one is picture B. I was looking at task two, sorry. He is in a float mat. He's drifting. Drifting is like floating. Drifting can be done on water, drifting and floating. Just going with the water, no engine, no motor, just floating like a leaf on the water or in the air. A balloon floating or drifting in the air. Well, this, this person was very far offshore. Offshore means away from land. Shore is where water meets land. That's shore. A beach is one type of shore, one place where water meets land. He was so far offshore, it was very, very dangerous. So far away from land. And you see the picture of the man sleeping on the float mat. Mm, very dangerous. Number two, picture C. These women uh, were twins. They were twins and they rediscovered each other many, many years later after being separated at birth. Uh, number three is picture E. Ooh, bad guy. This is called a scam. A scam is an illegal trick. You know online, there's a lot of online scams. Little games, little tricks to try to steal your money. Hey, send $100 to us and... But they really want your information. This is a kind of scam. This is a very bad thing, a very illegal thing. It involves stealing, usually stealing money from a person. Uh, this, this man lied. He said, oh, you lost my bag. Where's my bag? Give me money. You lost my bag. And the airlines would give him money. But he really put one bag inside the other. Terrible. Bad scam, but he got caught. Good. I'm glad. Number four. Picture A, the camera again floated. Okay? It floated, drifted on the water, just going with the water, following wherever the water takes it. Drifting, floating, a very, very long way. Number five, these are called newborns. A newborn is a brand new baby, just born, newborn baby. These newborns, one was sick, but when the nurse put them together, the sick one became healthy again. She missed her twin. Very sweet story. Number six, look at the picture. The man and his son fell asleep in their apartment. Then there was a fire, but the fire alarm, they didn't hear it. It wasn't loud enough. Luckily, the parrot copied the sound of the fire alarm, imitated or copied it. And so they woke up. They thought it was a real alarm, but really it was the parrot copying, mimicking, imitating the alarm sound. So they got up, went, oh my gosh, there's a fire. And they got out and they were saved. All because of the helpful parrot. I sure hope they took the parrot with them when they got out of the house. Jeez, I'm sure they did. The parrot saved their life, lives, so I'm sure they saved the parrot's life too. Smart parrot. Okay, listen again and answer task two. Circle the correct answer. Go ahead. Task two. Number one, how far was the man from the beach? From the beach, off shore. Away from shore, away from land, away from the beach. A, one mile. One mile is 1.6 kilometers. Wow, very far offshore, very dangerous. A long way. It's a good thing they found him. Number two, where did the twins find each other? B, in college. Look at the picture. That looks like college campus, college building. They went to college together. They're even wearing the same clothes, same hairstyle. That's true of a lot of twins, I think. They met again many years later, B, in college. Number three, how much money did the man steal? B, $135,000. That's like... Over Ilok, Ilok, O Chanmanan, Jim, 
It's a lot of money. But he got caught. He was doing an illegal scam. He stole a lot of money from airlines, but finally they caught him and he went to jail. Number four, how far had the camera floated? 1,000 miles, 1,600 kilometers. Can you imagine? That's a very long way for a camera to float, but it's inside a, a case so it didn't get wet. And they found, they opened it up and it was fine. They even posted the pictures and found the owner. 1,000 miles it floated. A. Number five, who placed the babies next to each other? The newborns? The newborns, the brand new babies. Number five, A, the nurse did. And then the, the sick baby got better and happier right away. And number six, why didn't the people hear the smoke alarm? B, it wasn't loud enough. It wasn't loud, so the parrot had to imitate it, had to copy it. So the people heard the alarm, the man and his son woke up, took the parrot with them, went out, and they were saved. Good for them. Listen again one more time. Very interesting stories, I think. Last thing, page 33. Task one, listen and repeat. Go ahead and do this on your own. It's sort of, it's optional, but I recommend the good listening and speaking practice for task one. Task two, dictation, we will do together now. Listen to the conversation two times and write in the missing words. Go ahead. A, did you hear about the guy, that guy who sent himself somewhere in a box? Did you hear? Capital D for did, otherwise wrong. On the tests, it must be capital at the beginning of a sentence. Did you hear? Capital D, did you hear? Next one, well, this guy wanted to go to Dallas to visit his father, but he didn't want to pay for a plane ticket. He didn't want. He didn't want to pay. Yeah, what did he do? What did he do? Capital W, what? What is the first word of the sentence? There must be a capital. What did he do? He figured, he thought, he figured he would save money. He thought, his idea, he thought he would save money. So he packed himself in a box. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. Really? Are you serious? Wow, that's, that's crazy. How, how is that possible? You're kidding me means you're very shocked, very surprised by something. You're kidding me. No way. Capital Y. No capital. It's wrong. Capital Y. Y-O-U apostrophe R-E. You are kidding me. You're kidding me. You're kidding me. That must have been some trip. Some trip means an incredible trip. Amazing. Wow, that's really something. That's really, really amazing. What an interesting story. What an interesting trip the man must have had. And what an interesting unit this has been. Very strange stories. Some of them believable. Some of them maybe not believable. Some I can believe. Some I can't believe. Maybe you feel the same way. Good work, everyone. That's all for Unit 8. And that's all for the listening videos of our course. Great job. Congratulations, you finished all the Listening Lab videos. Thank you for your hard work. We'll see you in class. Bye-bye.